Welcome back to Throwdown League Play Week Number Three. My name is Jacob Sarek, Sosy Panko, Yummy Cheese Man there, and Career Lord at the end. David Lee, Tom Snedden. This, of course, <laughs> is live in Showdown Studios, brought to you by McDonald's. The best series is coming up next. The fight for first place, the battle to the death, and you're in the middle now. Oh, how's it feel, Yummy? Oh, it feels good. And it feels good to be casting this game. Oh, yeah. Of course, whoever wins this is going to end this week on first place guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jam Gaming are 2-1 right now, which means, uh, you know, they are right behind Pale Esports. But if they win, they go, they win the head-to-head, -head, essentially. Yeah. So, coming through, guys. Korea, I think there's one thing to say, and that's Jam Gaming have been playing... I think a great game of Rocket League as well. Like, we, we cannot say that these guys are not neck and neck at the moment. But having that loss in there in comparison to Pale Horse is going to make you wonder a little bit. Well, I think the big thing to remember is the loss they have is only against the other team. And when I say only, it's the other team has beat them like three times in a row. And to everyone else, they're undefeated. So it's just kind of, they have a hard counter that beats them consistently. But yep. otherwise, they're super strong at the moment. But coming through, Pale Horse Esports, they have just found a win against Scylla. They have... Lost the first game, brought it all through in a three-game unclean sweep, not even a sweep. But coming through here, how do we counter each other? How do we look at Jam Gaming and say, that's the weakness of um, Pale Horse, and Pale Horse say, that's the weakness of Jam Gaming? It's really hard to tell, and one of the big things that we normally see from Jam Gaming is that they shut down the other team. Okay. And I don't know if they're going to have as much success shutting down Pale Horse either. Esports. I keep saying it. Pale Horse Esports, who Pale don't horse. rely so much on passes and more on pressure. So Monty Connor, he might not be yep. as effective, but we'll still see Express having the ability to really take it home. Well, that's 100% it, right? Normally, Monty Connor is the no-fun blanket that he throws on somebody yeah. and just ruins everything. But yeah, Express will, will now pass the bucket. He's going to have to move forward and really showcase yep. how he can play the entire field. We saw him come up a lot of the times and take shots last week. Express is someone who I have been excited to see, and he has some of the best stats that we've seen this season so far. Like, Express is absolutely nuts, and you look at the shot percentage... How the hell do you get that high? 58.8% is the highest shot percentage of anyone in league play so far. By far. By far. And, I mean, it's only rivaled by one person. Well, that's it. And that person on the other team and about to catch him up, but not the other team, the other team. To avoid any look, confusion we've been, we've, we've been struggling <laughs> this for a while there. You look at Express uh. and you look at his shot percentage and you say, this guy's got some really nice stats. But mm. I do want to highlight Kami as well. And I know you guys wanted to talk about him because he has been a consistent player for Pale Horse Esports. Yeah, perhaps the best stats across anyone. I think he is undoubtedly number one. But that's always going to happen when you have a player on the team that's won every single game so <laughs> far. But his stats are ridiculous. His offensive power is amazing. And we've even seen him stepping up a little bit on defense. Well, that's it. He can take crazy angle shots and he can run them up solo, which is what we saw all of last week, where he takes those 20 degree angles yeah. straight out of the corner and can convert unsavable shots from what should have been an unscorable goal. And last week we saw three O's, three O's, three O's. And of course that will pad some stats, but it has just been Kami's run and he's been performing under the pressure time and time again. Coming into our game of the week, gents, what is going to be the defining factor from both Express and Kami that creates the win condition for their teams? Cheese Man, start with you. Oh, well, I'm going to put down my predictions at the same time, but okay. I think for you see me, say Pale Horse, if they play the same way they did in the last series, mm. then they'll be in a good shot at just winning, you know, if they just keep up what they're doing. Okay. And it'll put the onus on Monty Connor to really start shutting down those dribbles that we saw coming out from Pale Horse Esports and countering that in whatever way, but it's very hard to counter. Yeah, see, I am I think I'm a little bit confident that Jambi will be able to scrape this a 3-2, simply because the only games they lose are against teams that play even slower than they do. So because the, these guys play pretty fast at Pell He Sports. Pell He Sports. Nice. Pell He Sports. Great. Yep. 
I reckon they'll be okay, but I think it'll take some adjustment time to get used to getting bumped so often. And I'm going to go 3 1 for Pale Horse Esports. So the onus is on Pale Horse Esports. Wow. To perform <laughs> in this game number three, our game of the week. We are going to say bye to Korea and Cheese Man and myself are going to be jumping into this match of the day. This is a new experience. Oh. I mean, it happened last week. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jake. You're with me now. Now I'm uncomfortable. Fantastic. You're not stuck in here. With, or I'm not stuck in with you. You're stuck here with me. So. Really? I mean, that's kind of beautiful. Like, I, I just, I just never thought we'd get this opportunity. Well, yeah. it's good. To, it's good to be here. And again, I'm excited. This is the game of the day, the series of the day, as yep. we see who can play for first place between Pale Horse Esports and Jam Gaming. Two of the top teams in our league right now, Pale Horse Esports, have just come off a big series win as they start the kickoff nice and strong. And Jules is someone who performed last last series, and I think he's going to be performing again. This is the start that Pale Horse Esports wanted, having got the pressure immediately off the kickoff, and they're going to hold it on. Jules with the shot, and Jules gets it in. A long-range camera shot and a long-range shot coming out from Jules. And what a start from the guy who pretty much cemented the last series. Coming on through, 25 seconds was all it took. And Pale Horse Esports start this series off incredibly great against Jam Gaming. If they can get the pressure once again here off the kickoff, it's going to be immediate for Jam Gaming, but they finally get some kind of relief. Let's see if they can play that fast pace that Pale Horse Esports know and love themselves. Shady coming through off oh, the air, trying shady. to take it off himself. The backboard, the setup for Jam Gaming, they come in so fast paced, but Monty Connor meets with a brick wall. But again, rolling the ball through. Defense will continue from Pale Horse. Back and forth right now, but so far, the passes are in Jam Gaming's half. As we do see Express off the roof there. Oh, yeah, very close call. Express meets head to head, however, with, I believe, Kia. He's going to be the one who pushes back around this corner and Jam trying to rotate it around. Here comes Kia by himself, trying to flip it on over and do a 360 degree play, but to no avail. Even then, he took out two players from Jam Gaming, set up an opportunity for Pale Horse, but the miss from Jules! Too That's big. not good. Shady gets a free goal. Yeah, Pale Horse Esports cannot afford to make those mistakes in game number one. And Jules, what started out was a great goal but his defense not on the same level. And this might just show the experience from Jam Gaming. They have been around so long, they're such veteran players, and under such a tense, high-value situation, they're not making mistakes. You uh, pay Pale Horse? They <laughs> might just make one too many. You're today. really struggling I can't, with Pale I can't horse. do Pale Horse. <laughs> oh, Jam Gaming setting it up off the backboard again, over the top. Defense is necessary there, and Kami will clear it away. Jules opens it back up, but then again, Jam Gaming are not stopping here. The shot the third time around. It's Kia with the clear. And Pale Esports are getting shuttered into their own net. And Kale, K Kia, oh my goodness. Kia already has his uh, saviour medal there. Or was it Kami as right now Pale Esports, Esports, Pale Horse oh. on the defence. It's just going to be all day. Pale Horse are stuck on defence. And they have to go for the clutch saves. The rotation's not quite on point in defense. Very close calls here again. Jam Gaming finally getting a taste of their own medicine at one all. Everyone misses the ball. Express, how slow does he play it? Or is it Pale Horse's time to shine? And Jam Gaming miss and fumble the ball. But Pale Horse do the same. And it's close opportunities like that you cannot afford to take. Oh, shot on. And Jules gets number two for Pale Horse eSports. Very nice, <clears throat> geez, man. You did good, and it was as good as that goal. Jules rolls on through, and it's like he's always in the air, ready to take these opportunities. I mean, he just wants to be the first of the ball. He pushes up, and normally that is to detriment of whatever team he is playing for. But he's doing it so well today. He's putting Jam Gaming in a position where they say, is he going to hit it or is he going to miss it? And nine times out of ten, he's hitting it. And you wouldn't know that he's a sub. You wouldn't know that Pale Horse have not choose to run him as part of their main roster, but good enough to be in there anyway. Pale Horse setting it up for Kia again. And he's coming in around this corner while Jam Gaming have to deal with Jules sitting and lying in wait. It's coming for the setup. Interesting touch. It was a good pass. Are they going to send it back up again? Yes, they do. Kami's there. He's approached the offensive position, but a quick demolition mid will slow it down again as Jam Gaming looking to find their second. And we're seeing some passes come out from Pale Horse Esports too. 
It's a bit of a surprise. We haven't seen it before. Mostly going for pressure. And now they have the opportunity to set up some big plays. Maybe adapting their play style for a team as good as Jam Gaming. 2-1, 1, 140 remaining. And Pale Horse Esports playing a lot off this backboard this time. As Jam Gaming just trying to find an opening, a window in their defense. Jules is dropping the ball in front of that goal square. And trying to pop it through to the net and set it up with a good pass play. All passing, interesting style. Yeah, we're seeing Express push up more and more. And this is what we need to see. He is the highest uh, shot percentage yep. in the league. His advantage is forward on. And with the addition of Shady, he can stay further back and let Express have the opportunities. His new Jam Gaming roster for this season has been impressive to say the least. And Shady has made a big influence, sorry, as Jules is setting up once again. Thought he's gonna take the shot. Kami rotates back, looking for a wide clear. We have a minute remaining. Jam Gaming have kept this neck and neck, but Pale Horse Esports jumping out in front. Jules tries to pinch the ball around the corner. Kami rotates back. He's going to get bumped out of the way a little bit. There's Jam Gaming with 45 seconds of trying to set the ball up in front of the net again. But too close. And now Pale Horse Esports, they get a really big clear. But it won't be enough just yet. Or will it? As we see, it goes through a chip over the top. Kia. A surprise coming out from Kia. Pale Horse had been playing it a lot more patient. They knew they were ahead. But as soon as Kia decides, you know, let's go and attack. Jam Gaming, not expecting it. Goal goes in. Yeah, not expecting a lot of these goals to come through. And Jam may be misreading plays, but Pale Horse executing so much nicer. As three goals for one, two in the lead. Jam Gaming are definitely struggling and will be sweating after this first game. Or will they? No, they will not express. Pads the stats more. Another free net and Pale Horse showing that their defense has some holes in it. Jam Express, of course, it's going to be Express coming through to get that one. Of course he is. He needs higher shot percentage. He needs to pad his stats. We did talk them down. We said that Pale Horse might just be taking game number one away. Jam Gaming surprise us, 20 seconds remaining, and the noose is tightening in this very first game. Jam Gaming will clear it away, and this time it's going to be Monty Connor driving oh, no. down the middle. No one's in defense! Big mistake! What happened there, Pale Horse? They were playing so defensively, and then all of a sudden, both Jules and Kami decided to push up, and Monty Connor gets a free goal. Tie game! That should not be happening there. Jam Gaming exposed the weakness of Pale Horse. You saw it right in that relentless pursuit. Ten seconds remaining. Look at this. Pale Horse unhappy with the results. Might be seeing our first overtime. Or will we as Jules trying to dribble the ball forward? Good clear coming through from Express. He may have just saved the day. The ball will hit him. We're in overtime. And Pale Horse Esports, they've given up a 3-1 lead here. And Jam Gaming, the experienced players, the experienced defense here is winning it out. They have the opportunity to win this overtime. I think they've got the advantage. Would have been a great comeback with that advantage of experience. We talked about it so much in league play season three already. Talked about how influential it is, especially when these teams are trying to recover. 20 seconds in already. Pale Horse. They are under the pressure. This experienced lineup. They have to be both nervous. Both overtime. The first game in the most important match and whoever takes out the first game goes with a huge advantage. Monty Connor not quite getting that one on. Again, it's going to set it all up. Jam Gaming. Again, this is shady. They're keeping it down this side of the field. The offense continues dropping the ball right in front of that net. Jewel, Jewel sorry, will dribble the ball and it will go right over the top of him as Jam Gaming have another opportunity. But Pale Horse, one big play is all that's necessary. We're in a big overtime here, setting the ball oh, up for Jules. Ball. The defensive line of Express. That was big. The ability to get this across. Maybe they're not as nervous as I thought. It was a risky play. And you don't take those kind of risks when you are in overtime. Kami jumps through the air. Tries to bounce the ball back behind. It was a close call. Express was still there. The ball rounds, sorry, roll back. It's as soon as I started paying, saying Pale Horse Esports, my words are going upside down. Again and again, Kami through the air off the backboard. The setup play. Express saves it again. But they're keeping up the pressure. This is what they're looking for. The holdout. Hope that Jam Gaming have no boost left. And then take the shot on that one. Bit of a mistouch. Kia coming through right through this center field. 
rotates back. He's going to be the defensive line. Picks up the boost. They try and get it through the air and over the top. Key with a clear. He runs too far out. And Express will take game one. Express was so much faster than Pale Horse Kia. Just a little bit slow. Not the best touch from Jules. And look at Express coming out of nowhere. Finishing that one off. And the top player here from Jam Gaming. The one that we had to watch. He finishes it off. But he also got a lot of pressure and goals in that series, in that game. And of course, Express, that game had five saves. He saved so many plays from Pale Horse. Pretty much kept Jam Gaming alive. And then he secures it as well. No one of these guys got great stats. I mean, he performed exceptionally. Yeah, it's one of those things as well. Pale Horse, as soon as they get behind, they start looking to take shot after shot after yep. shot. In overtime there, we saw three just shots that weren't spectacular. There were... Goalkeepers in defense, it was Express there. Mm. And they just took the shot, and Jam Gaming, of course, were happy to deal with it. Most of the time, that was Express. But it just shows the composure mm. that we see from Jam Gaming. Yep. They weren't doing that. They were setting up plays in that overtime. They weren't just taking shots. And when they're in defense, the most important part is they weren't committing multiple people to the ball. Yeah. So they were able to hold on to the defense for as long as you see me were taking shots. And Pale Horse, in the yeah. end, Pale Horse <laughs> weren't able to keep up the pressure. They weren't. And it, it comes down to that experience line again. It comes down to how Jam Gaming run their roster. But Express is the line. Everyone else can be comfortable and play in that midfield Whereas, like you said, Pale Horse, they're all back. They're all scared around the net. And it's like, how do we how do we deal with this? How do we actually play on the level of Jam Gaming? They just need to tighten up their rotations a little bit, especially in attack. They're often having two people committing to the attack too hard. It means that they don't have the ability to keep up the attack over and over again. We're going to see Pale Horse Esports tighten themselves up. Game number two. Jam Gaming already picking up that win. Two members in defense. They rotate forward. And now here they begin in front of the goal. The ball lands and Jules will be the recipient. We play around the midfield once again. Jam Gaming have started this game off strong. Pretty good kickoff. Yeah, you just see Jules there staying super far forward. He's looking to be the aggressor here and hope that Jules, uh, hope that Kia and Kami yep. can get the ball up to him. Kami's been the one who has been clearing the ball mainly. Kia is here again. So the other player. Jam Gaming sitting in front, just looking for the direct center, the direct shot. Monty Connor tries to chip it on in, the ball bounces back and forth. They slow the pace, but Kia will be the one who follows it through, tries to take it himself. Express again gets it the heck out of there. A quick demolition of Express, will it make a difference? These demos are what we want to see. They were so successful against Billy Fan Club, and for a team that have just incorporated Shady, if they can keep those up, they won't know what to do. Fusion is the name of the game here. And Pale Horse Esports look like they are running a little bit scared. Coming with the one that's safe. Yes, there's the bump. Just in front of goal. Express trying to dislocate the side of Pale Horse. Oh, Had no. they done it, Kami and Kia run into each other. Jules saves the day. It's been a bit of a theme. Pale Horse Esports on defense. They're not sure of each other. They don't know where each other. They don't know where they are right now. They should have been back and ready for that free shot. Like Jam Gaming are running mountains over them, at least in positioning in this second game. Jules is back in the offense. He's pushed up. Kami's here. He's going to reach up to the ball, jump around it a little bit, and the ball bounces back to the center field. Jules will get the demolition of Express. Okay, slowing the pace for three seconds, but it will not make much of a difference. And Jam Gaming still holding the line of defense for now. And they are holding the rotations. They still have plenty of boost. And that is what Pale Horse want to get rid of. Shot on by Shady. Just a big old slammer in the middle of the pitch. But once again, Pale Horse, where is the defense? And Jules just worried about getting demoed on the side there, at least getting bumped out of the way. And that was a big mistake. But again, Jam Gaming is just all about reading these plays so much quicker than Pale Horse. They will get the first goal. Now Shady trying to get a second one off the backboard. We said that Pale, he Pale Horse... Pale Heath. Pale Horse. Pale, pale Heath. All they needed to do was play the same way that they did last series, but they're not. They're confused. They're uncomfortable. And again, an open opportunity. No one worried about the backboard. And Jam Gaming are just playing clinically. They're ready for it. Yeah, Jam Gaming are just 
I think clinical is really the best word here. And we don't expect these got these goals should not be going in because Pale Horse should be defending these shots. Another opportunity. This time it is well defended by Jules. But two goals up is Jam Gaming. When technically you could say you could argue that they shouldn't be. Kami has pushed on up. Maybe they're going to change their play styles. I mean, Pale Horse, they're so comfortable on attack. And Jam Gaming are holding them on defense the entire time. It's not where they want to be at all. And it shows. Yep, definitely does. Key is here. He's pushed on up. This time, Pale Horse going to have their opportunity. Their time in the sun, as we've called it. Jules jumps up. And now Pale Horse sitting around this right side of the field. But the setup's there. Shady tries to bounce it in. Kia back in time. And close calls again. But Jam Gaming are still getting these shots. And still making it look so easy. Jam Gaming are hungry for their first place position. Yep. Last week, we saw them fall when they really felt like they shouldn't have against the other team. And win here takes them to first place. They're already two goals in the lead in the second game. And I think if they take this one out, it's going to be almost impossible for Pale Horse to come back. And it's a great drive to get them into that first place position. But like you said, prove that they are one of the best teams in OS right now. This team has been international. They did not pick up a series win, but they still went to that big RLCS stage. And this will put them in good form for Season 4. Yeah, they got a lot of practice up against the international teams, learned a few tricks, and even now, they're still getting a lot of practice in it. And right now, Jam Gaming, they just look like they're unbeatable. And this skill gap, I mean, you can see right there, Jam Gaming just getting the better dribbles, the better control, the better passing plays. I guess that international experience is priceless. Jam setting up for another goal. Key is in front of it. So Jam Gaming will have to try again later, but this time spent in just trying to get a third will slow everything down. 45 seconds remaining, dribbling the ball. Monty Connor, very nice. Pale Horse pushed out of the net, and as soon as they did, Monty Connor, look at that first touch. Along the ground, the second one just behind the net. He saw the Jules wanted to go and clear that ball to get it on attack, and you can't really blame Pale Horse. 45 seconds left. No, that's right. And Pale Horse will be struggling against the clock, and not too much they can do unless they make some rapid changes in this next 40 seconds. We do doubt it. Here we go, coming in shot onto goal. Pale Horse trying to set themselves up for a forward pass play, but they will not. Key is here in front of the goal. Jam Gaming just too strong on defense, and they've even rotated Shady back. They're playing it nice and safe. Kami, he's pushed up too. 20 seconds. I think Jam Gaming will just take the second game as well. I can't see Jam Gaming not winning this, yep. but Pale Horse... If they get a goal here, it'll at least give them some confidence because leaving this game with zero goals is going to feel bad. It's not going to be great going in and trying to get the reverse sweep. Yeah, I think that, look, Pale Horse, we were expecting a little bit more coming into this, but it is more being about Jam Gaming just outclassing Pale Horse Esports to a level of just synergy and, and rotations. Well, like we said, Monty Connor, if he can hold that midfield, which they are, yep. all three of them doing a great job there. Keeping Pale Horse to four shots is almost unheard of. In the yep. last series, the least number of shots that they had was seven in a single game. And now, Jam Gaming are holding them back. They're yep. not giving them the offensive opportunities. They're keeping them in their defense, and they just look lost. I mean, I don't like to be mean to a team, but they... It's honest. Just don't know where to go. And and especially with the sub, Jules. I think if they had CJ, CJ in, then their defensive rotations would be much better. Yep. Defensive rotations are one of the hardest things in Rocket League. And doing that with a sub can be very difficult. And I think, like you said, like with CJ, CJ, yes. But they went up against Scylla before. And Scylla are a very different team mm. from Jam Gaming. Jam Gaming are, are one of our top class. They're one of OCE's best. You're going up against a team where you cannot make mistakes like we've seen. And, and not get capitalized on. We just saw Jam Gaming every time driving the heart of that mistake and saying, well, you pay for it. And Jam Gaming have been willing to play it patient. Yeah. Something that Scylla didn't do. They played very fast. Jam Gaming are will willing to absorb a shot mm -hmm. if they know that they can then quickly turn that around. Yep. Instead of Scylla, who is trying to just completely shut down, get to the ball first and go straight on attack, we've got Jam Gaming ready on the counter attack. Jam Gaming, let's see if they're ready to take a third game at 3-0 in our game of the week. Well, we haven't let you down. There's been some very competitive play. However, you can see right now, here we go again. Pale Horse starting it so much stronger. Kia meets with an unfaithful surprise. And a terrible fate that they meet with means that Pale Horse, if they lose it 3-0, and zero, 
It will not be the top position. Jam Gang will be sitting strong. Not taking advantage of that position is biting them. Pale Horse as Jam Gaming get their first goal of the third game. Things are not looking good. No first goal and only 30 seconds in. Express makes it look too easy. Should have been read a lot better. Pale Horse Esports are uncomfortable right now. Look, they still will be 3-1, and one, but the head-to-head -head Jam Gaming will win it. But eventually, Pale Horse will have to go against Jam Gaming again. So they've got to look at this series and say, what can we improve on him? What have we done wrong? It's definitely an important series for them. Not just for the standings, but for the overall space yep. of Rocket League in Oceania. We've got to remember, these guys are about to go into RLCS Season 4. And these are the kind of matches that prove to them who they can beat and who they need to better, or how they need to better themselves in order to get to RLCS. Exactly right. I mean, we could see a team like Pale Horse eventually get there with a little bit more improvement, a little bit more training. Jam Gaming are now continuing this pursuit right into the enemy goals. Again, another shot onto goal. It was Express setting up for Pale Horse. They get the rotation back, and the big clear means that they may have an opportunity, but Jam Gaming are just like, nope, we'll play it slow again. We'll absorb that shot. And absorb they did, Express as well, moving that up. And that was important to give Jam time to get boost. And we'll see that all the time. Jam Gaming always on a high amount of boost, always ready to defend with 100. Yeah, I love the preparation from Jam Gaming. It's something we've seen in the past too. Key up, get the ball over to Kami, setting it up to play directly down the center. Pale Horse, opportunity arises again and again. The shots on the goals, they need to start happening now. Jam Gaming still have so much control. Is it an open net? Great pass back for Monty Connor off the backboard. The fourth touch was close. But you can see what Jam Gaming were going for. A lot of risks coming out from Jules, and they're not paying off. I don't think he needs to play so aggressive when there's still three minutes remaining in the match. Exactly right. We're going to have to take that advice. See, Pale Horse change it up a little bit. Jam Gaming just trying to lob it over the top. In comes another shot. And Jam, look like they're playing with fire here. Quick bump out of the way. We'll slow oh. down Jules. The ball over the top. Might just roll in. He finally rotates around, but Monticon is not done. Jam Gaming are continuing up. He bounces the ball up. He gets a second touch just for Shady himself. And nicely done by this, Jam Gaming. As Hysterics would say, this play was so beautiful. Damn straight I would. Beautiful. As Jam Gaming, <laughs> they recognized that Pale Horse Esports, they had low boost. They, took, they knew that they didn't get the clear, and they just kept bullying them. They kept hitting it. They even did some quick, sharp rotations. And Jam Gaming, now they're in a commanding lead. Oh, they look fantastic. They're looking absolute great form leading up to this gauntlet. We have a week left after today of competitive play. That is a... Yeah, that was a good shot by Kia, I guess. It almost looked like it was on purpose. I mean, I'm sure he was going for the pass across. But, but the way he executed that, it was, a, again, a sign of Question mark. impatience Question from mark. Pale Horse. He could have hit that to the corner. Yeah. He could have taken his time, but he went for the immediate I don't play. think Pale Horse are feeling too good right now, especially after the last series. They're going to try and set themselves up with a goal. This could be their opportunity. Jules comes in. We were talking about before uh, Jam Gaming. I mean, looking great. It's Season 3. But like you said, around the corner lies in wait, RLCS. Jam Gaming are just looking exceptional this week. They are, and the big thing is, they're playing a very standard play style. They're yep. just playing rotationally, they're playing comfortably. There's nothing that really stands out as being amazing, apart from the fact that they're executing well and playing together. And that makes them so hard to find any kind of weaknesses or how to beat. So I don't know, like all these other teams watching right now are going to go, I, what, what do we do to beat Jam Gaming? Well, you've got to ask the questions. And right now, maybe you just play a better game, pe better controlled, normal pace of game. Jam Gaming just looking like they're making it look crisp as they are three goals up. And Pale Horse Esports, and there's not too much they can do in this very last game. Well, what we're going to assume last game, they're going to start switching on now. Express his rotator back. He'll go backwards. He'll then pass it on through to the safe part of the field. You notice that Jam Gaming are not afraid of passing it back where a lot of teams take the risk. Again, there's a the goal. Okay, Jules 
There's the first one. I was about to say, Pale Horse, they need to start passing and setting up some big plays to get past Express. And they finally do. Express was expecting that left-hand shot and yep. got the save out. Not quite enough. No, but 50 seconds and you have two goals you need to work with. If Pale Horse can start bringing this back, now there is still hope. Jam Gaming what has looked like a fantastic series. Let one slide and it could be the death of them. Let's see how Ooh. they play. Pale Horse open through. Second goal. Okay. Now we could see a comeback. They had 50 seconds to get two goals and they got it in 10 as Jules. He's been going up for those touches from ahead of the ball and this time gets an amazing pass across to the center. Jam Gaming cannot afford to let this one slide. One goal is all that's necessary. Now you've got 40 seconds to work with less resources, but a little bit more pressure added. And Pale Horse, you can see exactly what they do. Monty Connor not going to let this one come into fruition. So Jam Gaming set it on up. Key is in front of goal. That'll waste or a bit revenge. of time, but what can they get? Yeah, the revenge was there. Necessary, you could even say, as Pale Horse. Maybe they're sick and tired of waiting. So they go on the aggressive. They start this play up. Kia tries to bump it over the top himself. 10 seconds remain. This is the chance for Pale Horse to do the exact same thing that Jam Gaming did, but no, three players oh, up. Oh my god. What an anti-climax to the end of that series, the end of that game, as Pale Horse had the chance. They only needed to single commit, and all three gone. And not only that, all three games are gone for Pale Horse. They have no chance. Jam Gaming putting on a display. And Jam Gaming are like, yeah, look, we'll, we'll just take it. And the better plays win at the end of the day. Pale Horse Esports, they lose 0-3. And Jam Gaming will take our game of the week. And this time, we see Jam Gaming stepping up. And in particular, you had to look at Express, the entire series, he was on point. I think he scored five or six goals yep. over those three games. And again, there's no weaknesses. We're not seeing any like Monte Cano or Shady falling short. No, they played consistent and they played strong. Yep. And that was kind of what I expected going into this. They played very, very reactively. And that forced Pale Horse to overcommit to try to punch through. And that just left their goals open, and it was just free shot after free shot. Yeah, you, Pale Horse really did overcommit quite a lot in those games. Yeah, I think, look, Pale Horse, we were expecting a lot. And coming out of Scylla, again, I just want to reiterate how different of a team Scylla is to Jam Gaming. You're not going to get the same level of consistency you get with Scylla than you did with Jam Gaming. And maybe it was just too much for them, and maybe that's why Jam Gaming just looked comfortable and looked like they had an easy time. It was really hard at the start of that series. That first game, as soon as you're 3-1 in the lead, and mm. you sort of unnecessarily give up goals, I almost imagine in those games, they're all kind of getting frustrated with each yeah. other. Why are you pushing up? Why are we trying to get a goal yeah. when we're 3-1 in the lead and there's 50 seconds remaining? Well, that's the big thing, right? They don't have a consistent roster, which makes it really hard to lock down these like standard rotations and plays. I think it goes beyond that, though, however, because Jam Gaming are now 3-1. and one. They will take that top spot, and it means they win their head-to-head -head against... Ah, oh, no, you see me. Against Pale Horse Esports. <laughs> We've no, been nobody's trying. ever allowed to change <laughs> their name. Yeah. Or get picked up by an organization <laughs> or drop an organization. We're franchising now. That's <laughs> it. Rocket League is the <laughs> franchising at the start it's of It's now that. Team 1, Team 2, That's Team it. 3, and the other team. Yeah. And the other team. We just have to throw that one in there as well. But that was, look, that was a very convincing win. And I'm excited to see how Jam Gaming go forward because uh, plays like this leading up to Season 4... Uh, just look fine, and it, it, it's it's what sort of carried us through and made Oceanic teams great. Yeah, and they've proven that from Season 2, they've really come back yeah. as a true force, as the top team, and they've proven not only are they the top player team in this league, but they're perhaps right now definitely the top team in Oceania. They've proved it. Yep, it's done. Locked it in. However, Jam. still going to go through the gauntlet. After Week 4, we still have to go through that big series. And it means that Jam could be knocked off. It means that Pale Horse could come back. So top position, not locked in just yet, but at least going into it, they could potentially have it. However, for our last game or series of the day, the two teams who haven't versed each other yet, or at least haven't played for this week, it's going to be Legacy taking on the other team to round us out for week number three of League Play. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back in five minutes.